you've realized your powers and finally matched their energy. They all know now not to play with you anymore. Shout out to the WTC family. We've still chosen if they accent. You finally realize your powers. You finally realize that God gave you the glow. Knowing that God gave you the glow, amen, God gave you the anointing, which destroys every yoke. Not only God gave you the anointing, amen, God gave you the spirit of the sermon to discern these negative spirits around you, to discern negative energy around you, to discern who is for you and who is against you. Understand what I'm saying? Not only God gave you the spirit of the sermon, but God gave you the gift of tongues. God allowed you to start speaking in tongues so you can draw yourself closer unto him. So you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. You finally realize your true powers. I advise you that you cannot be defeated if you're constantly using the power and the powers of God that he has given you, chosen ones. You finally match their energy as well. No more fitting in. Understand what I'm saying? No more, you know, trying to be cool. Trying to be, you know, accepted or love. Knowing people don't like you. So you finally starting to match their energy. Keep that same energy. Haven't you realized, chosen ones, the more you elevate, the more you level up, amen, God is just removing people out of your lives. Haven't you realized, chosen ones, the more you begin to grow in the fear and admission of God, the more he's teaching you how to be quick to hear and slow to speak. Every time you're around people, amen, that don't like you, guess what? You ain't got to say a mumbling word because guess what? The energy is speaking for itself. So now you matching their energy. Understand what I'm saying? If they don't speak, you don't speak. If they're not congratulating you, you don't congratulate them. Understand what I'm saying? If they're not giving you, amen, any kind of support, why you should support them? This is a, a year of matching energy. This is a season of matching energy. Let me tell you something. One thing that do not lie, and that's energy. Energy never lies. You can tell somebody like you by their energy. You can tell if somebody like you by the support that they give you. That's a part of energy. You can tell when somebody loves you or somebody want to see you win by their energy. Do they clap for you when they when you win? So now you start to realize that ain't nobody supporting me like that. Ain't nobody doing nothing for me. Why should I do for them if they're not doing for me? I understand what I'm saying. You're starting to love people from a distance. That's matching their energy as well. Love them from a distance. Understand what I'm saying? Love them with the with a silver spoon. You gotta start loving people, amen, from a distance because amen, when you up close and personal, guess what? You can feel all the hatred, you can feel all the jealousy, you can feel all the envy when you up close and personal. You have to start loving people from a distance. Treat people accordingly to how they're treating you. Understand what I'm saying? And you will soon come to realize your true strength in the Lord. You will come to your realization of your true powers that you really have. You're using the spirit of the sermon now. You're going around, guess what? You don't got to speak all the time. Be quiet and listen to what the spirit is saying. When you go around family, when you go on around, amen, your friends, amen, you ain't got to go around telling everybody what God is doing for you. Let your anointing do the talking. 
Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I don't owe none of my family or none of my friends no explanation. I'm just going to let my anointing do the talking. That's what I'm talking about. You realize your powers. Understand what I'm saying? And people think it's on the outside appearance. Amen. No, it's not. You, you, you judging the wrong thing. They judging by, by what you wear and then they judging you, amen, uh, uh, based on your outer appearance, but they don't even know that it's the God in you, amen, that's just shining on, 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 on the outside of you. First is God got to work on the inside of you in order for you to glow on the outside. So when you go around people, guess what? Let those powers speak for itself. You realize your power. You got the gift of tongues. This is the season of if the heat coming towards us, guess what? We're going back towards the heat. We're not running from no Decepticons this year. We're not running from no enemies this year. We ain't running from these demonic spirits. We need to learn how to be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Because if there is no heat, there is no anointing. We're not folding under pressure this year. Because we are pressure. And when you realize your power, guess what? That means you don't realize your worth. You don't realize that you are the anointed and the appointed one. Understand what I'm saying? You don't realize that if God is for you, can nobody be against you. You need to learn how to stand your ground. See, at first chosen ones, we once was lost. I'm going to keep it real. So the enemy, they, the enemies, you know, they tried us and they, and, they, and they played us. Understand what I'm saying? You had people in your life that was trying you, playing you, pushing your buttons because guess what? You wouldn't even walk in. Back then, chosen ones, guess what? We didn't even know that we were really chosen like that. Guess what? So we would be vulnerable, vulnerable, thinking everybody had our back, thinking everybody was our friend. So people was playing with your mind. They was playing with your life, playing with your heart, playing with your love, playing with your intelligence, playing with your emotions, playing with your gift. Saying you're not the, be the next big thing. That's playing with your gift. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, don't play with my gift. Because my gift is going to make room for me. Don't play with my intelligence. Because my intelligence is going is to allow me to walk in the room. Don't play with what God is doing in my life. They playing with your life. What they used to play with your life. I'm just keeping it real with you chosen ones. I used to let people speak things over my life and just sit there and listen to people and allow them to speak it over my life without even rebuking it. This is why you realize your powers now. So if anybody try to speak anything negative over your life, you rebuke that devil immediately and say, say the Lord rebuke you. I don't receive that in the name of Jesus. I send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. If anybody try to speak anything negative over your life, you got to realize your powers and rebuke the devil. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I send that back to the sender. I don't receive that in the name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength because you got to be careful, chosen ones. See, back then, they didn't want you like that. They didn't want to accept you like that. Now you're chosen. Guess what? They all on you. Back then, you know what I'm saying? They didn't even want you like that. When you wasn't chosen, they didn't want you like that. They didn't want, you understand what I'm saying? They didn't accept you like that. Now you're chosen. They're all up on you. Back, back and give me 50 feet, baby, because I was born for this. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. I see your true colors now. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and tell your fake family members, understand what I'm saying, tell your so-called friends, understand what I'm saying, tell people, amen, that you grew up with and say, I once was lost, but now I'm found. 
I once was blind, but now I see your true colors. I see your true intentions of me. I know you jealous of me. But I'm going to use my powers against you. I'm going to go to the source against you. I'm going to get on my bended knees against you. Because no weapon that is formed against me shall be able to prosper. They know not to play with you anymore. They know to touch not my anointed one, do my prophet no harm. They know not to push your buttons because guess what? You coming with Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I'm coming with Jesus. You got to understand, chosen ones. Now that you have finally realized your power, you finally realize your worth. Don't you think without a second of the doubt that the enemy is not going to attack you harder than ever before. But when the enemy comes like a flood, God will lift up a standard and protect you. Even though the enemy may come like a flood, no weapon that is formed shall be able to prosper against you. Even though the enemy is coming, you got to know how to use what God has given you to fight back. For God did not give you the spirit of fear of chosen ones, but he gave you the, the, the power of love and of a sound mind. I understand what I'm saying. So you have to understand, chosen ones, in this season, that the enemy going to try you. The enemy going to push your buttons. But guess what? You got the chosen one powers to fight back. You got the dudamous power to keep pressing towards the mark. You got the resilient power to not give up no matter what circumstances come your way. Don't you ever forget that trouble do not last any, 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 any more. Trouble don't last always. Trouble not going to last in your life anymore. You ain't going to struggle anymore. You should never lack again anymore. Understand what I'm saying? God is getting ready to make you, amen, higher than what you've ever been before in your life. He's getting ready to elevate you and take you to a place you ain't never been before in your life. So think about it. Back then, they was playing with you, talking about you, gossiping about you. Using you and abusing you and manipulating you. But now, look at you now. You feel with the Holy Spirit. You feel with the Holy Ghost. You told God to fill my cup and fill me up as well. Fill me up till I can't want no more. You told God to fill you up with your spirit. You done came from, from, the, from, the, from the pit to the, to the palace. You done came from rock bottom to the mountaintop. Look at you now. They looking at you right now. They know you winning. They know you got the anointing. They know that God is constantly pouring his spirit out upon you. So they know not to play with you anymore. They know that you serve a risen savior. They know that God is on your side. The only reason why they know not to play with you anymore is because you finally matched their energy. You finally start matching people's vibes. You finally being quick to hear, but slow to speak. I'm proud of you, chosen ones. That's how you got to live. You got to start matching people's energy. When you go around people, amen, you ain't got to be all, you know what I'm saying, just all trying to be extra cool with people because guess what? People really don't like you like that, especially if you're chosen by God. You got to really give people their space when you go into people's presence. I don't care who they are. Always go with the vibe, with the flow, with the energy. They don't have to speak to you. Their energy going to speak for themselves. You ain't got to go around hugging everybody, handshaking everybody. Guess what? Everybody ain't rocking with you like that. Everybody not going to rob with you and slob with you like that. Everybody don't have the anointing like you. Everybody don't have the spirit of the sermon. Come on, pay attention. You got people really out here carrying demonic spirits with them. 
Everybody out ain't really soul survivors for God. Everybody ain't worshiping God. Everybody ain't praying every day like you. Everybody not even a word like you every day. You woke right now. Stay woke. Get to this bag and stay in the bag and keep walking in your purpose. Don't let nothing come between you and your purpose. They know not to play with you no more because God just keep on elevating you. God just keep on doing great things for you. They tried you already before, but guess what? It didn't work. They try to dethrone you, but guess what? You shall reign. You still on the throne. Don't you be afraid to put it come below and say, yeah, you try to dethrone me, but guess what? I'm still reigning. I'm still on the throne. So don't play with me anymore. And when I mean match people energy, sometimes you got to look the enemy in his face and say, man, which, what's, what's happening? We all want to go around. Hey, how's everybody doing? All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not this season. Stop being all smiley and <laughs> smiley and wily and all up in there. You know what I'm saying? All up in everybody's face thinking about everybody love you and everybody care for you. And everybody wants the best for you. You got to look that devil in his eye and just straight look at him. Match their energy. I know you don't like me, but what, what's going on with you? I know you can't stand me, but what's up with you? Always have that guard up when you're the chosen one. We rolling with Jesus. God called us to do great and mighty things. You got to protect your aura. Protect all that energy. Protect your vibe. Protect that anointing God give you. People shouldn't be just coming up to you, touching on you and stuff like that. Touching and all this other stuff. I understand what I'm saying? People shouldn't be coming up in your presence and, and just, you know, just acting any kind of way. Because you got to understand the minute you go in people's presence, guess what? They're going to act out. You coming in their presence just as humble as you want to be. All right, how you doing? God bless you. All right. So it's going to be that one person or two that think that they're chosen, knowing that they frozen. They think that they chose it. Knowing they are the Decepticon. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to act out. They want to steal the spotlight. They want to steal the show. And you coming in there humble as a dove. This is why I say be humble. Remain humble in this season. That's another power God gave you is humility. People don't realize how powerful silence really is until you go around people and start matching everybody energy around you. Just try that. Just go around people and just be humble. You're going to start feeling energy on people. You're going to start seeing people. You're going to start observing. You're going to start learning people without even saying nothing. You're just watching their movements, watching their body language. You ain't got to say much to people because they eventually tell themselves. Be quick to hear, but slow to speak when you go around people. It's not like we being mean or we don't like people. or Because we can be the most loving people. The minute we open our mouths, you already know that the anointed one is in the room. But sometimes you got to go in people's presence. Hey, man, just humble as a dove, not saying that one word. We got to start feeling people's vibes and energy. You ain't got to speak to, to people to, to, to figure people out nowadays. People just starting to show them true selves. Just bam. When they see you, they feel your spirit. Guess what? It's going to disturb their demons. To make a long story short, I was just walking out my apartment, amen, on my way to my little vehicle, amen, on my way to, you know, do some videos because this is what I do. And I was playing my gospel music. And this one brother, I'm telling you, this one brother got a demonic spirit on the inside of him. And he said something to me that was demonic or something because I can feel his spirit. He said something demonic to me, something negative to me. I didn't even, I don't care what he was saying. I just kept pressing towards the mark, but I knew it was something negative about my music. Probably said something, like, why are you playing all that, that music? Yeah, 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 you know, something like that. Or something, he said something negative. It was something negative. I can feel it. 
Because it's not the only time I felt his spirit. Every time I, I walk across this man, I feel like it's a demon on the inside of this man. But I kept pressing. And like I told you, Chosen, was when you decide to do the will of God, people's spirits are going to just start coming out at you. They're going to start lashing out at you. When you decided to, 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 to step into your calling and start walking in your purpose, I'm telling you, people's true colors are going to start coming out. Ever since you decided to lay your burdens down, think about it. You decided you don't want to sin anymore. You don't want to do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? You just want to do the will of God. People are going to turn on you. But it don't matter. Because they know not to play with you anymore. Them days is over with. You have grew... Hey man, into the <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> get out of my voice, devil. You have grown into the fear and a mission of God. You can't even be touched. You really, you know, in your calling right now. Do people realize that you would never be the same anymore? You you couldn't even go back to your old ways, even if you wanted to. God changes people, man. I'm telling y'all, God really changes people. He changed me, believe it or not. That's why when I go around people, guess what? I'm not studying your negativity anymore. I'm not studying that you're jealous of me. I'm not studying all that anymore because I'm here to do my to do the will of God. I'm here to to do my my purpose. I'm here to to you know to step into my calling. I'm here to 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 be used by God. I'm here to you know to to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm here. I ain't studying these people. I'm matching energy. When you're doing the will of God, chosen ones, when God elevates you, whatever the case may be, when God is elevating you and taking you to a whole nother level in life, guess what? You're going to have to work around negative people. Everybody not going to be chosen around you. Everybody not going to be positive. Stop running away from the heat. Because the more you run away from the heat, the more you run away from your calling. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, the more I run away from my heat, the more I'm running away from my anointing. I'm running away from my calling. You don't need to be running away from your calling. You realize your powers. You should be stepping up to the plate. Hitting a grand slam for Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, I'm getting ready to step up to the plate and hit a grand slam for Jesus. So tell your enemies in the comments below and say, keep that same energy. And don't you ever play with me again. Because I'm God's anointed and appointed one. And we still chosen. If they ask. Be blessed.